I feel like I need something on this table, no? You can call me a collector. You can call me a deal finder. Either way, I love finding items with a soul. I don't have a template that I go for when I'm designing my home. I just like to find objects that speak to me, and often those objects have a story behind them. This is a painting that my grandfather did in 1928. I believe he was 12 years old at the time. I've got from the Paris flea markets, a relic from the fashion industry from, I don't know, probably the 1940s. Everyone always comments on the hand. This is a ceramic model that they used for selling gloves in department stores long ago. I found it in Asheville, North Carolina at a big uh, kind of flea market and thought this has to come home with me. So this is my office. For years, it sat as the room of chaos in wood panel. <laughs> it really was this room off of our kitchen that no one knew about thank goodness they didn't even know it was there because we kept the door shut but it's kind of where we would throw everything I kind of didn't know what we would do with this space it was this quirky space in an old home felt like a relic of the past um, but painting didn't feel right or sheetrocking over this beautiful wood so we tried to figure out a way to work with it and like bring out its beauty but in a more modern way so that led us to wallpapering the ceiling, um, which is actually peel and stick, which was much more affordable than getting traditional wallpaper. But I did have someone professionally install it because I just didn't trust myself to do a good job. Just last weekend, we were in Connecticut and driving by a little roadside flea market. And my husband was joking with me because he was like, I didn't hear you say anything for 30 minutes. And then you looked up and you said, oh, cuckoo clock. <laughs> So um, yeah, I've been looking for a vintage cuckoo clock forever and was super excited to find one on the side of the road at a little middle of nowhere flea market. And then we were in New Hope, I think celebrating our anniversary a few years ago and found this, someone was throwing it out on trash night. So I got to trash pick like a very old mirror and you know, had to do a little bit of work to fix it up, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. This is my Zoom background, what I'm working from my desk. So I wanted this to look really professional, but I also didn't want to lose the functionality of the bookshelves. So we installed some curtains to help break up the darkness and also have a place to tuck the things that were functional, but not necessarily as aesthetically pleasing. So this is our bedroom and there's some fun pieces in here. I love um, this chandelier. It reminds me of my grandmother. This was in her dining room when I was growing up. This piece, I just find so peaceful and beautiful. I got it off of Facebook Marketplace and I got to know the woman who sold it. She was, had an amazing story about picking it up in Japan in the 1980s. So it was nice to give it a new home as she was downsizing hers. Thank you so much for coming to my home and touring with me. We'll see you at the next one. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.